great stuff. Campos, it was going to be uh, who was going to be the bravest on the break. And I think I wonder whether Campos just a little bit left rear wing on his car. Did whoa, wow, whoa! That's a big incident. He's gone over. Julio Campos has rolled the car, and it is upside down. That is a nasty, nasty looking incident, and there is a wheel off center of the circuit. Someone narrowly avoided that, but Julio Campos. That's one of the drivers. I think that's Chris Baker who was involved in an incident earlier on. He's gone over to the assistance of uh, Campos there, and he's helping get that. He did make some space for Julio to clamber out from underneath. A frightening accident. Wow. Well, the Simple Green safety team will be there as soon as they can, but. And they are there on the spot. Boy, that was quick. I tell you what, those guys didn't waste any time at all. Great work there by the Simple Green safety team and uh, super work also by Chris Baker there to uh, help uh, maintain, just get some breathing space for Julio Campos. And you can see further back in the distance the tyre wall and it's looking a little out of shape and that's what Julio Campos collided with. It sent him off track and then he collided with the wall on the outside of the circuit tipped him upside down and fortunately came to rest on the roll hood. What I was saying when that incident occurred was I think that Campos maybe, because he started on the pole, uh, I think probably he was running a little bit less wing to be faster on the straightaways and give the other guys less of an opportunity to get close under braking. When you run a little bit less wing, you are quicker on the straightaways, but you're slower through the corners and that's great news. There is Campos out of that car. Well, he'll be a little shaken, but thankfully he is okay and his sensational run through the field has come to a very spectacular end. Thankfully, Campos is okay. Let's take a look at the replay. We are under full caution. Watch to the top of your screen. Got on the dirt there, coming off turn nine, and uh, just got a little bit wide, and then as he, he, he already damaged the rear suspension when he clipped the outside wall, the car just flips over violently, violently there, and I think the, uh, the rollover bar there on the second or third impact was uh, pretty much uh, bent right over on that car, but a frightening, uh, a frightening crash there. Here they are, coming down the back straightaway. On the left of your screen is Campos, who's just uh, maintained maintain that position ahead of Leonardo Meyer, but he goes a little bit too quickly into the corner, misses the apex, runs wide, and bang! And to see him walk away from that is just a a very lucky yeah, it's a testimony of also the strength of these Reynard chassis here. You see that flip over there, and it's now bouncing up and down. It comes down from quite a height there. That is when the roll bar seems to bend over there, and it's great news that it certainly...